Welcome back everybody, I'm Dave and today we are going to go through a differential calculus uh, exam problem uh, to do with product rule. So this question is worth five marks, so we should be able to do this question in five minutes or less, so that gives us enough time to get through the exam paper. This will feature in IB, AP, A-level, any calculus course. So we have the product rule sort of formula here, which is u times the derivative of v plus v times the derivative of u. Watch one of my other videos if you want me to explain the product rule in more detail. So I'm going to set the timer going. If you want to take a picture of this uh, and do it and then check your answer, please do so. But we're going to get started. Let's go. Consider the curve with the equation y is equal to 2x minus 1 times e to the k x, where x is an element of the real numbers and k is an element of rational numbers q. So it says that the tangent on this curve at the point x equals 1 is parallel to this line. So therefore, straight away, I know that I'm going to have to differentiate this curve with respect to x so I can get the gradient function, substitute 1 into that and find the gradient at 1. Then I'll compare it to this line. So we have to find k uh, is our overall end game. So y is equal to 2x minus 1 times by e to the kx. And we are going to define u as 2x minus 1 and v is e to the kx. So go over to the right hand side here. u is equal to 2x minus 1. Therefore u prime, the derivative of u with respect to x, is simply 2. v is e to the kx. Now when we differentiate v with respect to x, we would keep e to the kx. This is part of another course, another topic when we differentiate the, the expression e. But now we have to multiply through by the derivative of the power. Now the derivative of that power would just be k. Okay, that's very important here in this question. So we'll go back over to the left hand side now and we are going to substitute some of these values in. So we have the derivative of y is equal to v times the derivative of u plus u times the derivative of v. Okay, so if we substitute the values on the right hand side here into this expression, we would end up with v, which is e to the kx times the derivative of u, which is just 2, plus u, which is 2x minus 1, times the derivative of v, which is just k e to the kx. Okay, so now we have an expression um, like the, the, the gradient function, okay? But it does say clearly in the question that we uh, have to find or uh, the gradient when x is equal to 1. So I'm going to substitute x is equal to 1 into this expression here. In doing so, I'll write down that y prime is equal to e. Now remember, x is 1 now. So e to the k times 2, so that will be 2e to the k, plus, plugging 1 into this will be 2 minus 1, which is 1, okay, times k e to the k. So it's just k lots of e to the k. Okay. Now, um, we can see that there is a common factor in both of these, so that can come out, so that'd be ek2 plus k, okay, is equal to dy by dx. So that's my gradient function. This part uh, is, I think, one of the trickier parts of the question. So we know now that the gradient at this point, x equals 1, is equal to ek times 2 plus k. Now, it does say in the question that k is a sort of a rational number. So this on the right here, even though it looks complicated, is just a numerical value. Like, um, we don't know what that value is because we don't know what k is, but it is just a numerical value. So that is the value of the gradient. Now, it says that that is parallel to this. Okay, so I just want you to think about what's happening here, that if we figure out what k is, this value here is just going to be a numerical value times x. So this reminds me of when we were doing linear lines, we had like y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient times x, which is the variable, plus c. So if we compare these two expressions, really this is like gradient m times x plus c. 
But we can see that there is no C, so we could uh, establish that C is zero. Right, I'll just write zero here. So therefore, this M is 5e to the k. Right, so the gradient of this line is 5e to the k. I do think that that's a little bit tricky to get your head around, but if we go back down here then, so if the gradient on that top part was 5e to the k, and we're comparing that with what we think the gradient is, um, let's just move that to the right, uh, then e to the k, 2 plus k, has to equal this, and we can, through comparison, see that k has to equal 3. Stop the clock. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. When new content drops, you'll be the first to know about it. On the left, click the video for more tutorials. I'll see you next time.